Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. We're out here today in Buzzards Bay, we're fishing a little back cove and what we're looking for today, we're going to see if the weak fish are in. The water temperature is 70 degrees, so chances are they're in here by now and there's probably some bluefish roaming around in here. So we're going to just fish this bay this morning and we're using the new prototype uh, flexi jigs, the new revolutionary prototype flexi jigs from Thunder Mist and by the time you see this video these should be out on the market and they're absolutely fantastic if you notice the hook here on the flexi jig it flexes down and up again so as soon as you go to set that hook what happens is it pivots and you get a perfect hook set right up the snout every time it's absolutely phenomenal the flexi jig just like that okay so all we're doing here it's very shallow and I'm just gonna be jigging Cast it out not too far, and Phil and I are just going to be working the bottom with these flexi jigs. And uh, I know the weak fish, they like, uh, they like a white, like a white twister tail. Uh, they like white, white with a little red, white with some speck. This one's a little off-white that I'm using right now, but I might switch to a pure white uh, soon. And all I'm going to do is just bounce that off the bottom, and those fish will typically hit it on the fall or when it stops. And uh, Again, we're fishing, I've got, I've got 13 feet marked on the graph here. So a nice little back bay and uh, the water's a little warmer. The birds are diving a bit this morning, so I know there's bait fish in this bay. So there's gotta be fish holding in here. We just don't know if the weak fish are in here or not, but the blues most likely are. And you never know, we may even get a bonus striper. So stay tuned folks. We're looking for a great time on the water today. He's on. Nice fish. Oh, it's a nice fish. I think It looks like a scup. It's fighting different. No, it's a weak fish. A weak fish? Yeah, it's a nice weak fish. Oh, Beauty. Oh, no. Or is it a blue? Oh, no. It's a blue. Oh, it's a little blue. Oh, I got it. I'll take it. Yeah, you'll need it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he might cut you off. Beautiful. Little blue. Nice little blue fish. Mr. Flexi, right up the snow. That Flexi jig with the hook set. That's what I mean. It always goes right up, right the, snow. up the snow. Perfect hook sets. I love it. <laughs> Did you see that? I see that jump. He came right out of the water. Look at him go. Wow, what is it? Abe? It's a weak fish, I'm sure. Came out of the water like a torpedo. Oh, <laughs> this is, that was phenomenal. Just phenomenal. I think it's a weak fish. Oh, it's, it's a good weakie. No, it's a blue. Oh, it's, a blue. it's a blue. That's why he came out like a torpedo. <laughs> he came out just like a torpedo. I don't want to lose my flexi jig. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. Nice little blue fish. And look at that flexi jig hook set. Perfect every single time. I love it. Okay, let's get okay, him I off. I want to get back in. Yeah, you go <laughs> ahead, Phil. Get back in the water. Well, we know the blues are here. All we need now are some weak fish. Okay, let's get him in the box and. Let's see how this is, no worse for wear. I think that's good for another fish. And I'll tell you what else I was doing, folks. When I'm working this uh, twister tail, the beauty of working the twister tails is I'm jigging it back to the boat, but you're never really, you're never really done working that bait, even when you're at the boat. Oh, there was a, I think I had a hit. Something might have bumped it. Maybe that's the bottom. But, uh, I don't know, it might have been a hit. Let's take a look. No, okay. So when, when you're bringing the uh, twister tail back in towards the boat, once you've got it at the boat, don't just reel it in quick. Take your time and work it like a, uh, like a crankbait because that'll swim back towards the boat or if you're working offshore, uh, you can swim it back towards the shoreline and it, like I say, it works like uh, similar to a crankbait that way. But uh, here I come, I'll just work it to the boat, up to the boat, oh, maybe a little bump there, I don't know if something's bumping that, uh, yeah, see, instead of reeling it there real quick, there we go, something, something just kind of pecked at the tail there, I think, okay, let's get that back down there. Come on, Evo. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, good hit. It was, it hit it, and then, uh, 
I missed him, then I dropped it down again. And he come back at it. it. it is a you want to bring him around the side here? Well, yeah, it's a it's weak, a weak fish. fish. Yeah, weak fish. Little guy. There we go. Flexi jig, weak nice. fish. My first one actually ever. And that right out. You can do it. There you go. They're nice looking, aren't they? Nice little fish, Phil. Look at that. Yep. He's way not going to miss you. Way size, yeah. Get him back in quickly. And off he goes. Okay, they got to be some bigger ones out here. Did feel kind of weak when he was fighting. <laughs> he felt kind of weak. weak fish. <laughs> this one's peel and drag, Phil. Yeah. So I think it must be a blue fish. I don't think it's a weak fish. Oh, there goes my glasses. Wow, he's strong. <laughs> he's just peeling. He's just peeling, drag and peeling, drag. I'll tighten up on it a bit. Wow, he's still peeling. Okay. Take your time. I gave him a good hook set, Phil. So good. Oh, I lost him. No, no, I didn't. He was just swimming towards the boat. Uh, I thought, because uh, I gave him a good hook set, I thought, no, how could I lose him? Oh, wow. Did you see him yet? I just saw a little flash down there. I don't know if it's a blue or a weak fish. If it's a weak fish, I'll tell you right now, it's a nice That's one. a good one? Yeah. It is a weak fish, and oh. it is a nice one. Do you want me to land him? Oh, you Mr. got him? Mr. Weak Fish. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh, awesome. There we go. Nice How's that fish. for a weak fish? Oh. oh, yes. Beauty. Now that one, Phil, will measure. What you have on the flexi, Eve? On the flexi jig, I still have that off-colored, that white with a little bit of uh, fleck in it. Salt and pepper? Salt and pepper. And again, that flexi jig, Phil. Nice. Boink, boink. Beautiful. This, not even the true McCoy. These are just the prototypes, folks, that we're using today. They're not even, uh, they're nothing fancy, they're not even a painted head, eh, Phil? <laughs> no, I know. We don't even have painted heads yet. These are the pre-production models. Uh, so let me tell you that. something. That right there is a very, very nice weak fish, folks, right there. Fish on. Phil, you're on too. Yep. Beautiful, let me get him in the box. Okay, what a nice weak fish. Gorgeous. It doesn't feel too strong, but. What do you got, Phil? You got the net? I'll come up there. I got the net here. I'm gonna need a net. I don't have one handy. I'll come around, Phil. Oh, it's, oh look at this. There's another weak fish following it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I got to get my line in there. That's the one that I wanted, the one that was following it. Okay, you got <laughs> a little a big guy. One. Okay, the little weak fish. Let me get my line back in. Folks, this is unbelievable fishing. You got to love it, eh, Phil? <laughs> little weak words. fish. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's early June. The water temperature is its just up to 68, 69 degrees in this area, in this cove. And I got to get my line back in the water. Well, Phil, I'm going to hand you the net. <laughs> this is too much fun. I don't want to get my line out of the water. Oh, you shouldn't have left. There you go. Look, look. Oh, nice weak fish. Another Beauty. One too. Another one again. That's a keeper, Phil. You think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice weak fish. Uh, flex Beautiful. Them in the boat. <laughs> What'd you do? Flex them in the boat? I flexed them, yeah. Okay, I just tossed my line back out there. What a gorgeous fish. Oh, that's a nice weak fish. You don't want to put your fingers in their mouth, though. No. <laughs> no, not a good idea. That last one you cut was a dandy. Oh, it sure that was. was a beaut. <laughs> well, folks, I just had an amazing hit. And uh, there's no question about it, Mr. Bluefish. Because that's what I got left. And oh, look at my line is all frayed. Wow, he just hammered that. And I lost my only prototype flexi jig. Phil, you got the only one left. I do, yeah. That's it. I can't wait for the real ones to come out. Folks, the flexi jigs, they're absolutely fantastic. I love it. The hook set is amazing. They're new. There's nothing like them out there, and they're absolutely fantastic. We had a great time out here. I'm going to keep fishing. I'll have to go to plan B. And I just want to share with you one other thing. The wind is blowing up against the shoreline and it's pushing, it's pushing those bait fish up against the shoreline and that's where we're getting all the action. On the other side of the shore, on the other side of the cove there, we gave it a try just to, just to experiment, but nothing out there, nothing in the middle. 
everything is right here up against the shoreline. The bait fish are getting pushed up against there and the weak fish and obviously the blue fish are feeding up against them and pushing them up against the shoreline. But what an exciting day, I tell you. If you get an opportunity, fish those back bays. This one in particular, very quiet bay. It's a little cove here. There's no boat ramps or nothing. There's a few boats that uh, the locals uh, own here on the water, but outside of that, it's a nice quiet spot to fish. So thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode, folks, of Thunder Miss Fishing Tips. And as always, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Plan B.